You got it. Stand by for Titanfall. Hello everyone, the Foundation Apper here, and that's right, it's time for Titanfall. Now, I am going to give a bit of a spoiler warning for you, because despite this, despite Titanfall being multiplayer only, there is a campaign mode to it. And actually, the campaign mode is what I'm going to talk about first, so be prepared for spoilers. So, the in Titanfall, there are two competing factions, the IMC and the Militia. Uh, the IMC is a corporation that builds and designs the Titans, who eventually got really power-hungry and started... Uh, destroying cities and such to mine the minerals it sounds for something mining core I should really know that or mine corporation and the militia are peop they're militia uh, just people who got fed up of the IMC destroying their planets so in the campaign, you play a series of multiplayer matches with kind of a video, or not really a video, but the your leaders tell you, like, you have to go to this planet to stop the militia from doing such and such and you play the first series of missions as the IMC and the second series of missions as the Militia. I thought that was a really interesting way to try and do campaign in a multiplayer only game but I must say I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, first of all just in the way it's designed like you s hear your leaders saying things in the background or you hear them arguing with the leaders of the other side but it's kind of hard to you can't really pay attention to it because you're fighting in the middle of games you kind of miss a lot of it and the second thing is that you can't really get into the story just from the way it's played out because uh, I haven't played the militia missions yet but the IMC missions the militia accomplishes the goal that you're trying to stop them from accomplishing in the by doing the missions uh, the matches that's what I was going to say which, one th you wouldn't think it would be that bad, but when I was playing, I just happened to be on a team that was quite a bit better than the other team. And we won every single match, but in the end, we still wound up losing in story-wise. And that just seems kind of weird that the two things would have different outcomes, the story and the actual battles. I mean, there's not really a lot they can do about it, because they want to have that set story. But I did not really like that I could keep winning, and at the end of each match, it's like, Oh man, we beat them, but they still accomplished their goal. They ran away with the documents they are trying to steal. Dang, and then... At the end of all of it, they win anyway. So, I'm not sure if the militia missions are the same story or not. But, regardless, that really brings you out of the story when it does stuff like that. Okay, enough about story. Let's get on to the game itself. For all of you out there who say this is a Call of Duty clone, you are dead wrong. And I'm sure any video watch of people who've played the game, they're going to tell you the same thing. But I just want to reiterate it. 
this is not like Call of Duty at all. Um, it seems these days, just because Call of Duty has such a big share of the market that whenever a first person shooter is released, it gets called a Call of Duty clone. But really, you just have to think about it. Not even just fighting Titans, but the amount you can run around, the speed you can go uh, as a pilot, you can. There's so much parkour and stuff you can do. You can wall run, double jump. Um, Call of Duty, uh, you'll admit I haven't played since Modern Warfare 2, but I. there doesn't seem to be a lot of movement in it, and certainly not a lot of vertical movement. Like, you can still run upstairs and run up buildings or anything, but you're not climbing buildings, you're not jumping back and forth between walls trying to get to a roof and stuff. Uh, it's it's really fast paced because of that. And they're, they're definitely, definitely two different games. Uh, Titan Falls, fighting as a Titan is it's so cool when you first climb in, you can climb in from any side. And then all the firepower you have, that's a lot of fun. Or if you're not very good at fighting as a titan. <coughs> oh, excuse me. If you're not very good at as, as fighting as a titan, like some people, um, you can... It, the, your suit, the titan, will also have AI, so you can set to guard mode, which will stay in one spot and guard this spot, which is really good for things like capture the flag. Or you can set it to follow mode, where it just follows you around and fights for you. And also, don't think that fighting in a... fighting as a pilot, rather, against a titan means you're doomed. Uh, you could be in a lot of trouble, but you do have a weapon that does lots of damage, but that's specifically designed for using against titans. Uh, you still could be again in trouble with it, you wouldn't want to use like the anti-titan weapon just by yourself. It helps to have, say, another titan fighting the enemy titan, you're just kind of helping out. But Again, you can do what's called rowing a titan, where you jump on the back, you rip off this little hatch, and you shoot into the insides of a titan. So, again, that's dangerous as well, but again, you're not screwed as a pilot just because you're fighting this, like, three meter, four meter tall Robot. One thing I definitely like is the grunts. Um, they're AI enemies that are really just there as can fodder. Uh, it's very rare to get killed by one unless you've already taken a lot of damage and they just happen to get the final shot off. But they get you extra experience points by shooting, by killing them, and by killing enemies. It takes time off how long it takes to build your titan, so by killing the grunts, you can get your titan a lot faster. Uh, that's really nice, otherwise it might be unfair for some of the less skilled players, because I certainly don't get a lot of pilot kills in a match, and uh, grunts are really helped me to get my Titan a lot faster, and were it not for them, uh, there would just be a... like, the unskilled players get their Titans a lot later, so they'd be at a disadvantage oh, even more so, because the more skilled players are running around in the Titans, while the less skilled players are running around as a pilot. So all in all, Titanfall is a really, really great game. Uh, you should really check it out if you're interested. I wasn't going to get it at first, 
because I heard it's just multiplayer and as you probably know, I've mentioned before, I'm a really big campaign guy. And then I was convinced, I kind of convinced myself, okay, I won't buy it right away, but I'll eventually buy it once the price drops. And then through watching some videos and through playing the beta, I realized, oh man, this is a really awesome game. <laughs> I am going to pre-order this, and I'm glad I did. I got a big Titanfall poster for it, and they it didn't come early because it had to be delivered, so it actually came Friday after it was delivered on the Tuesday. I never got to pick it up until Monday, which was yesterday, but regardless, uh, I'm glad I pre-ordered to get it like as soon as I could and got a big cool Titanfall poster. That's fun. So anyways, I'm babbling, babbling like I always do. Uh, despite all the good stuff, there are a few bad things, uh, which mostly come through matchmaking. The first one is simply the matchmaking system. Uh, you don't really switch sides, really. Like I said, you play as the IMC and the militia fighting each other. And it seems to me the only, like when you start a game, you're one of the factions. And I don't think you can switch the other faction without actually exiting the game and going back in. Which, you know, isn't that big of a deal, but I personally like playing as the militia, so when I play as the IMC, I get kind of stuck there. I'm more so just saying, like, keep being kept on teams. The matchmaking system, it seems a bit uneven to me. And I'm not just saying that because I get killed a lot. Uh, lots of the time you get to the end of the game and the winning team will vastly outperform the losing team and just being locked into teams like that like never tries to put players together like as soon as you enter the matchmaking lobby which I miss also knowing because it takes like 80 seconds after a game to start a new game uh, as soon as you enter the lobby you're set to a team. It's not like, say, Halo, where it puts all the players together after it creates the game. And that, so, like, the strong team can keep beating the weaker team, which is, like I said earlier in the video when I was playing the campaign, my team kept winning because that was ha what happened. I just happened to be on the stronger team, and because it didn't mix them up. I mean, it wouldn't mix them up for campaign anyway, but because it didn't mix them up in even in just regular multiplayer, uh, the good team keeps winning unless you leave the matchmaking lobby. My second is just the game types. I feel like there should be uh, just really two there is one game type where you play as everyone's Swans and Titans, and it's kind of a last person, it's last time standing, so you each get one life. So there's an all Titan game. I feel like there should be an all uh, pilot game where you don't get Titans at all. I think that would be a lot of fun. But again, it is Titanfall. The one of the main premises is the. Titans, so I can see why they would keep that out. The other is Capture the Flag. I played a few Capture the Flag games, and at about halfway through the game, you switch sides. So if I'm, say, their base is to the south, just for example, I'm going south to try and take their flag, it will switch around halfway through, and suddenly their base will be the north. I can see why they did that, because on uneven maps, it evens it out a lot, so that's good. My biggest problem is that it resets everything in the game, so I was playing, I got like a titan, I said, your titan is ready, five seconds before the team switched. Then the team switched, and suddenly I had to wait 
three minutes for my Titan to build in. So that's kind of, kind of annoying, plus there's a big weight in between the switch. It's kind of like uh, old Griff Ball matches in Halo where after each round you'd have to wait for the game to restart again. That and that the flag is reset to your base as soon as you touch it. Uh, it leads to, I found very few flag captures. Um, I know if you're in a Titan and you have a flag, that's probably why they did it. Because the Titan can take a lot of damage and will move the flag across the field quickly. But if you're just a pilot and the, as soon as the ally, like as soon as you touch your flag and keeps resetting, they, there really aren't a lot of flag captures and if your team drops the enemy flag, it's pretty much impossible to pick it up because the guy that killed them automatically resets it back to their own base. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about Titanfall, the good and the bad. So I'm just wondering, have you played Titanfall? What do you think of it? Please leave me a comment below telling me. Uh, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe for more videos and possibly more, con more Titanfall content in the future. Bye-bye.